Good morning, good morning, good morning to all of you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Come on in the room. Come in the room. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in this day. Good morning to all of you. That's right. Come in the room. The Lord is great. The Lord continues to be great. The Lord continues to shower his blessings upon each and every one of us. Good morning to all of you. That's right. Come on in the room. Come in the room. It is time for us to give the Lord our first and our best praise. Time for us to magnify him for he is great. Good morning to you, Sister Louise. Good morning to you, Sister Donna, Sister Angela. Good morning to all of you. That's right. Come in the room. I see you coming in. Let me know that you plan to be a participator in the word of God, not just a spectator. Good morning to you, Sister Sherilyn. God bless you. God bless you, Evangelist Priscilla. Good morning to you. Good morning to all of you. We're going to go before the Lord in prayer. And then we're going to get right into what the Lord has for us on this morning. Father God, we thank you for this word, God. We praise you, O God, for you are powerful and mighty, Lord God. And we thank you for what you continue to do in the lives of the people, O God. We thank you, Lord God, for blessing us this morning with these brand new mercies, Lord God, with these brand new compassions, O God, that are new to us, God, every day. And for that, Lord, we want to thank you, God. We want to give your name praise, O God, for God reaching down and just touching us, O Lord God, and just giving us everything we need, God, for life, for health, God, for healing, God, for happiness, God. And for anything, God, that we need, we thank you that you've given it to us, oh God. And even though it may not be exactly like we want it to be, we thank you, Lord God, that things are as well as they are. Thank you, Lord God, for touching our children, God, our families, oh God. And God, for allowing us to be in our right mind this morning, that we could hear a word from you, that we could understand. And Lord God, put it to you. So we thank you right now for the woman of God that comes to speak, oh Lord God. And yes, God, I decrease in myself and I increase in you, the Holy Spirit who gives me the ability to do all things well. And God, for that, we give your name praise. We thank you, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen to all of you. Good morning to you, Sister Rebecca, Sister Terry. Good morning to all of you that I didn't greet while I was in prayer. I want to say a good God bless you to everybody. But this is a great day. It is October 14th. We are moving quickly, my God, toward the end of the year. Good morning to you, Sister Phyllis. To the end of the year again, um, the end of 2021. Uh, you know, the Lord is, is co continuing to usher us quickly, quickly, yes, to the places that um, we need to be. Good morning to all of you. This morning, I'm talking about trouble don't last always. You know, some, um, sometimes people put a lot of songs on my timeline. And when I was, uh, good morning to you, Sister Ross. Good morning uh, to you, Sister Deborah. When I was, um, earlier when I went to college, I went to Purdue University. I sang with the black voices um, at, at that university. And we sang a lot of songs. I love singing. So you all know that right now. And um, and so Brother Craig, uh, fellow Boilermaker, he puts a lot of songs on. What if they used to put a song on? They, they wanted, evidently, they was asking me if I knew who had sang that song. And so the song, Trouble Don't Last Always, came to my, my mind and to my attention. But you know what? I looked it up. Yeah, I looked it up. Remember Timothy Wright, he put that song out in 2008. But then I looked further. Sam Cooke also did a rendition of that song in 2011. And then the Soul Stirrers did a rendition of that song in 2016. Good morning to you, Sister Mary. He said, I'm so glad that trouble don't last always. I'm so glad that maybe we got some trouble going on, but it don't last forever. Trouble is not going to always be with us, especially for the people of God. We got to know that. Things may happen in our life, and sometimes that we can make things happen. We can make things worse. We can, you know, create worse situations on us. We got to not complain. We got to make sure that we believe that the Lord is going to work things out on our behalf. And sometimes we start speaking things into existence. We start speaking and talking negatively about situations that happen. And, and we know, I talked about it yesterday, yesterday, some things are inevitable. And we got we to gotta meet situations head on. We can't run from them. Um, we got to we gotta go into the fight. So we have to don't run from the fight. We got to go to the fight. We got to sometimes we stick our head in the sand and, and pretend that stuff is not happening but listen no we can't make situations worse we got to realize that the lord is on our side thank you for sharing uh evangelist priscilla we gotta we gotta make, make sure we understand that the lord is on our side and when the lord is on our side doesn't matter what goes doesn't matter what comes oh yeah i'm reminded of the scripture that he has a plan for us yes in jeremiah 29 11 he has a plan that is just for us I mean, when we, before we were in our mother's womb, he did predestined us. He predestined us for greatness. He predestined to do some mighty things in our lives. And, and I understand that 
the trouble comes. The Bible says it. Man born of a woman is of a few days, and those days are full of trouble. But I'm so glad this morning, Sister Missy. Oh, I'm so glad, Elder Gail, that trouble just don't last always. And so I want to look at a couple passages of scripture this morning. One found, oh my God, in Lamentations. And, you know, every morning I, I talk about the brand new mercies, the brand new compassions, my God, that the Lord gives us. And, and he gives that to us because every day, my God, something happens. And but I look forward to every morning because every morning the Lord gives me something new, Sister Joanne. And good morning to you, Sister Alfreda. Every morning, Sister Terry, he gives us something new, some new compassions and, and new mercies. He gives us to us. They're brand new. Come on, because I'm telling you that trouble don't last always. Let me read it to you. And then I want to go ahead and get into what the Lord has for us on this morning. In Lamentations chapter 3, I want to look at verses 18 through 23. And the Bible just simply says this. It says, and I said, my strength and my hope have perished from the Lord. Oh my God. Remember my affliction and roaming, the wormwood and the gall. My soul still remembers and sinks within me. This I recall to my mind. Therefore, I have hope through the mercies of the Lord's mercies. We are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Oh, somebody say, great is your faithfulness. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you now this, I, I went and I, I found some things because I wanted to understand. They said that the person who read, who wrote this uh, pastor scripture was Jeremiah. And I wanted to go back and I wanted to look at um, Jeremiah. I mean, and Jeremiah, they say, was, was um, known as the weeping prophet. And you look at Jeremiah and say, why was Jeremiah the weeping prophet? Glory to God. And, and they talk about Jeremiah being the weeping prophet because he talks about himself in the word of God as, as one who is sad and has some depression going on in his life. And, and sometimes we think about Christians as never being sad or never being, being depressed or never being in a state that you are down. But I want you to know sometimes, people of God, that even as a child of God, Sister Donna, sometimes we're down. And as a child of God, we get into a, a, a spirit uh, where where the spirit of depression may overtake or overcome. We may be overcome by the spirit of depression. But I want you to know that even in the life of Jeremiah, he had some issues and some things that were going on with him. I'm being the prophet that he was. And listen, he, 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 he received a call. My God, he said an unwanted call to minister. He, oh yeah, he, he had a call to minister on his life. But, but, but when he, called, he was called to minister, he, he was judged. And then he was forbidden to marry so that he could give himself fully to minister to God. And, and therefore, Jeremiah was in a state of loneliness. And he was a man of deep sadness. And he wept openly about the sins of his people. Jeremiah wept. And so in Jeremiah 9 and 1, it tells us that he wept about the sins of the people. And then here, Jeremiah underwent deep depression as a result of his message going unheeded for so long. He was, he was depressed. He, Jeremiah was one who tried to get out of his ministry. Last night, well, um, uh, uh, we had Bible study, and Elder Mike, he did a wonderful job in preaching and teaching and Bible study. And he, and he talked about how he tried to run from the call that God had on him. He, see, well, he wondered why God had even called him. He said, God, I'm not even worthy to minister your word. Why are you calling me? Why is it that you're calling somebody else? I can see him, come on, being like Jeremiah, running from his pain and running from the things. But listen, Jeremiah here, he, he had a ministry that spanned, I, I read in here, over 50 years, but, 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 and I don't even know who Jeremiah converted, but Jeremiah had some issues, people of God, and just like Jeremiah had some issues, I see you, Sister Betty, good morning to you, we as children of God, we have issues, come on and hear somebody, he, he didn't want to do it, he didn't want to do it, First Lady Priscilla, he didn't want to do it, but just like he had issues, we were, we have issues too, but despite Jeremiah's problems and issues, despite all the things that he had gone through, I see at the end of this passage of scripture that I read, Jeremiah kept on going. And now he kept on going. Jeremiah ended up saying, great is the Lord's faithfulness. He said, I don't, it doesn't matter what I've gone through. It doesn't matter what the Lord has tried to get me to do. He said, I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm remembering. He said, I remember all the things that I got strength. I have, he said, I have strength from the Lord. And he says, listen, I remember all these things. He says, I have hope. He says, Jeremiah here is saying, listen, trouble don't last always. He says, I have hope. He said, through the mercy of the Lord, 
I was not consumed because no matter how I failed, no matter what happened in my life, either the compassions of the Lord, they did not fail me. They didn't fail me. And oftentimes we go through situations, Sister Terry, and we complain about this and we complain about that and we complain about the other. Glory to God. And, and, I, and I love the scripture in Psalm 34 where it says, I will bless the Lord at all times. and His praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. My humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Listen, it says, at all times will I exalt him. At all times, no matter what's going on, if it's good times, if it's bad times, if it's so-so times, come on, I'm not going to complain about the things that I'm going through because I go back to what Jeremiah said. Glory to God. Oh, he said, his compassions, they don't fail me. His mercies, my God, I'm not consumed by that. He said, because every morning, no matter what happened to me yesterday, no matter what happened to me the day before, no matter what happened to me last week, no matter what happened to me yet last year, two years ago, three years, five years, 10 years, 30 years ago, my God, every morning I get something brand new. Every morning, my God, I get some brand new mercies. Every morning, my God, I get some brand new compassions. Come on in here, somebody. Great is the faithfulness of the Lord. Oh, my God, great is his compassions on me. And I'm so glad, my God, oh, the troubles that I'm going through. I'm so glad that they don't last always. I'm so glad about that because I can get through this. People of God, you can get through the troubles that you're going through. Because every day, my God, the Lord gives me strength. And every day, the Lord, my God, is going to give you some hope. And the minute you start complaining, my God, the minute you start complaining is the minute you start making things worse on yourself. It's the minute you start saying to the Lord, the Lord, I don't believe that you're going to get me out of this. The, the minute you start complaining about a situation is the minute you start doubting that God is going to see you through. The minute you start complaining and, oh my God, being negative about the situation is the minute you start saying, Lord, that you can't work this situation out and you can't fix this situation. But come on in here, somebody. Jeremiah said, I have hope. Oh, did anybody have hope this morning? I have hope. And what does that mean? I have hope enough, my God, that I've got expectation in you. Lord, that no matter what it is, they're going to fix this thing for me. I'm going to wait. I'm going to be patient on you, Lord God, that I know, Lord God, you're going to wait, work, work it out. But when, my God, we start complaining, what is that saying? Lord, I'm tired of waiting. That says to us, to, to, to the Lord, I'm, I'm tired of being patient. We're saying to him, I'm tired of my God being in this pain. I'm tired of trusting in you, oh God. That's what we're saying with the Lord when we glory to God. When we start complaining about a situation, we say to him that all hope is lost. We're saying to him that even though we, we quote the scripture, my God, that he can do exceedingly and abundantly above all we can ever ask or think. What we're saying to him when we start complaining about a situation is that Lord, all hope is lost. There's nothing that you can do about this situation. We're just going to start complaining, my God, and we're just going to throw in the a towel, but listen to me, people of God, this morning. I'm so glad, my God, the trouble don't last always. I'm so glad, my God, that this pain and affliction that we might be going through is not going to be the end, my God, of my story. Glory to God. I'm so glad, my God, that even though it seems like I might be, sick, uh, come on, uh, uh, persecuted, that the Lord is helping me, my God, through this situation. I'm so glad that the enemy is not control, in control of my life. As a matter of fact, I I'm not even in control of my life. I'm so glad that the Lord is always will continue to be in control. Glory to God. So all we got to do is humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God and God will come on. <laughs> I was in church. I would tell you to say God will God will work that situation out. All you got to know my God is that there is no weapon that is formed against you that is about to prosper. Come on against you. My God. And even as Jeremiah, they said he was the weeping prophet. He had to even understand that weeping, my God, only would endure for a night, my God, but joy is going to come in the morning. So I want my God to let you all know that even as we quote that scripture, that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you can think or ask according to the power that works inside of you. You got to know who you are and know that you got power, my God, and know that God, that you are more than a conqueror through him that 
that loved you, my God, and know, my God, that you can't give up, that you got to continue to fight this battle, my God, because you got to know, my God, that you are more than a conqueror through him that loves you. I know trouble is coming. Trouble is brewing. Trouble is already, my God, in your path. Matter of fact, you already are in the eye of the storm, but I want you to know, my God, that nothing, my God, is able to overtake you. Trouble is not going to last. Glory to God always. It's not going to happen because when Jeremiah said, this I recall to my mind. Hey, he said, trouble was happening, my God, but but he said, I, I had enough umpture, I had enough, I had enough, come on, um, um, something, in my, I had enough gumption to just recall this to my mind. And he said, I had enough understanding. He said, I was still dealing with the trouble. Hey, have you had so much trouble, my God, that you, you just sometimes couldn't think? Things are just coming at you from one side to the left, the left side to the right side, from the top to the bottom, and you just couldn't think. But I hear Jeremiah saying, this I recall to my mind. He said, therefore, I, I have hope. <laughs> oh, my God. He, he, said, I, he said, I remembered, he said, I remembered my affliction. That, that caused me to lose hope. He said, but, but I recalled something that, that caused me to have hope. He said, oh, I recalled my, oh, glory to God. Have you all, have you all had something that came to your mind and, and first, like you were battling and seemed like the enemy was just trying to overtake you. And then you remembered, my God, when you were sick before and you remember the Lord healed your body. Glory to God. Come on and hear somebody. You, you recalled, my God, that sometimes you didn't have a, a dime in your pocket. And you remembered, my God, that the Lord sent somebody along and, and they didn't know you didn't have anything. And my God, and glory to God. And, and they came and they gave you something. And, and oh, my God, you, you, you had food in your cupboard. And, and my God, you had an ability to pay your mortgage or your rent. And glory to God, you had an ability to put some gas in your car. My God, maybe you didn't have a vehicle at all. And glory to God, somebody came along and said, you know what? I have an extra vehicle. Can, do you, can you use it? You recall that to your mind, my God. When, Sometimes you may have been down and out. Hey, glory to God, Sister Alfreda, I see you. You recall to your mind, my God, that you were going through a situation. And you recall to your mind, my God, where the Lord brought you out. Glory to God. I don't know what it is, but I recall to my mind, glory to God, when I was in my God in a health situation, a health issue, my God. And, and the Lord, my God, he healed me. He came out of nowhere, glory to God. He, he came and he healed me. I recalled it to my mind. And so that's why I know, come on, I can say it, my God, from personal experience that trust. Trouble don't last, my God, always. I'm, I'm so glad, my God, that trouble don't last always. And, and when I recall that thing to my mind, I, I also recall the scripture in Malachi chapter 3, verse number 6, where it says, For I am the Lord, and I change not. He says, I don't change, my God. So it makes me know, my God, because it's compassions, my God, it's mercies. I'm on a brand new to me every day. Oh, thank you, Sister Priscilla. You said it again. Uh, he's faithful to his word. And, and if he did it before, I know that he, I know, my God, I know know that he will do it again. So every morning, my God, when I wake up in the morning, I can see my God. I don't know. I see it dark, but I know my God, the sun is coming because every day, my God, I see the sun come up. My God, my God, I thank you. My God, I see the sun, my God, coming up and every evening, my God, I see the sun going down and every day, my God, the same thing happens and I know the same thing is going to happen again. So just like the Lord gives me a breath to breathe, glory to God, I can see that same thing going on. I can see the brand new day. Great is glory to God, thy faithfulness. Lord God, what you started, this good work my God just started in us. Oh God, I know you are faithful, Lord God, to complete that thing in us. I know God, there's trouble. Oh, there's trouble happening. But Lord, because of your faithfulness, because you said, Lord, you would never leave me. You would never forsake us, oh Lord God, every day that I give up, get up. Every day that I wake up, Lord God, it's another opportunity to let the devil know that he does not have an I have. Oh, he cannot have me. He cannot have you. Oh, yeah. Just like Jeremiah had to go through some things in his life. Just like Jeremiah, my God. Yeah, he wept about some things. Just like Jeremiah may have had some issues of depression. I'm telling you, Jer Jeremiah brought back to his mind that the Lord was faithful, that the Lord, my God, would never leave him. He was brought back to his mind, my God, that even though he was going through some troubles, that trouble, my God, did not last always. Oh, even my God, my Savior. Oh, Jesus Christ. Glory to God. 
God went through some situations. He went through some things. Y'all know it. Oh, he walked on this earth. Oh, he only came here to show us about the love of Jesus. But oh, we look at my God, Isaiah 53. Though the Bible says he was despised and rejected by men. And, oh, a man of sorrows. He was acquainted with grief. The Bible says and we hid our faces. He was despised. The Bible says he, we esteemed him not. The Bible says that the Lord bore our griefs. He said he carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But the Bible says he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. All oh, the chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes. We are healed. My God. Oh, they, what did they do? They, they despised him. He was afflicted. My God. And even in Jesus case, glory to God, they killed him. But my God, don't you know that trouble didn't last always? Oh, my God, trouble didn't last always because I know, my God, the Bible tells me that on that third day, oh, he didn't stay dead. Don't you know he didn't stay dead? He got up, my God. He got up for you and he got up for me, my God. The Bible says, my God, the Lord grazed him, my God, with all power. Come on, not some power, with mo not with most of the power, but he got up, my God, with all power, my God, in his hands. Glory to God. He got up to heal us. He got up to save us. My God, he saved us, my God, letting us know that trouble, my God, don't last always. I want you to know this morning, my God, that we don't have to complain about a thing. Well, my God, we don't have to worry about a thing. We don't have to, my God, be in anxiety, my God, over a situation that is happening, my God, in our life. We got to know that God has given us, my God, the power. He's given us the authority, my God. Oh, we don't got to wrestle, my God, with situations, my God, that are happening in our life. All we got to know is that God has worked this thing out because why is it? God is faithful. Oh, people of God, he is faithful to his word. He is faithful to save us and he is faithful to secure us. I know that Jeremiah was remembering that God, come on, his grace was going to save him. He was not doomed and he was not lost. My God, even though, my God, we can't reach heaven and get God, God can come down here and reach us. My God, he could save the lost glory to God. His grace, my God, can save us. His grace, my God can secure us. His grace, my God, and God, my God, is faithful to do just that. Glory to God. He's faithful, people of God. So I want you to know this morning, my God, stop complaining about the situations that are happening in your life. I want you to know this morning that trouble, oh my God, is don't, oh my God, is not going to last always. My God, is not going to last always. So in your darkest hour, well, am I in the place, my God, that you feel like God is not there? Come on, God's grace is there my God, to reach you. My God's grace is there, my God, to touch you. God's grace, my God, His Holy Spirit, my God, is there to draw you, my God, closer to God. His grace, my God, is there, my God, because the Lord has saved us. My God, He saved you by His grace, my God. And now as He saved you by His grace, He's keeping you, my God, by the same grace. And I thank God, my God, for His unfailing. My God, thank God for His unchanging grace. I thank God, my God, that His grace Grace, my God, live gives us uh, the things that we need. Great is, uh, my God, thy faithfulness uh, toward us. Faithfulness, God, God is faithful, my God, in everything, my God, that he does. It lets me know that trouble is not going to last. Uh, glory to God always. Uh, he's faithful, my God, in his promises. Uh, he's faithful, my God, in his presence. He's faithful, my God, in everything, my God, that he set out to do. My, he's faithful in the things that he said he's going to give to us. Now, I may not be faithful, my God. I may break a promise. Somebody may break a promise to you, my God. But I'm telling you, my God, God will not break. He will never break a promise to you. And because of that, my God, you can take God at his word. You can take him at his word because he will meet your every need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. God has promised, my God, to take care of you. Whatever the storm you might be going through, come on, whatever the trouble you might be going through, I want you to know that God is a He's able, my God. As a matter of fact, he's more than able. Whatever problem you have, whatever you're going to face, God is an awesome God. And he will, my God, take care of you. The trouble you're going through, oh, it's nothing for God. Come on, don't, don't make it worse by complaining and don't make it worse by trying to ignore it. Come on, God's gift, someone, whatever he has for you. Oh, come on and hear somebody. The Bible says they are brand new 
every day. I know, come on, you had something yesterday. Homie, come if you don't like leftovers. Come on and hear somebody. It's not a leftover gift. Come on, it's not something that you made, that he made for you yesterday and last week and it's still in the refrigerator. No, 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 no. He said brand new every day. Come on, every day. Come on, you get something. You don't have to worry about it not being enough. His grace, come on, is brand new to you every day. So every day you wake up, God has something fresh for you. Every day you wake up, his faithfulness is there for you. Every day you wake up, come on here, somebody. He gives you fresh breath, fresh food. Come on in there. Someone, he gives you fresh faithfulness every day, my God, because he will sustain you. He will be your savior. Come on, he will give you what you need. I'm so glad this morning, people of God, that trouble, my God, don't last always. And how do I know that? Because God is a good God. God is a gracious God. God is a faithful God. Great is, my God, your faithfulness. Father God, I bless your name. I I praise you, oh God, for who you are, Lord. And I thank you for letting us know, Lord God, that you are gracious, oh God, and you are faithful, Lord God, to us. And Lord God, not just today, God, but every day, you give us, God, fresh, God, manna, fresh faithfulness, God, fresh grace, God, every day. Lord God, and I thank you, Lord God, that as we remember the things that you have done, Lord God, that gives us fresh hope, fresh hope for each day, Lord God, that even as God trouble looms over us, God, even now, Lord God, you will help us because even though, God, in our sin, Lord God, we are prone to failure, God, we are prone to wandering, Lord God, from you. I thank you, Lord God, that because of your precious grace, Lord God, you, God, will save us, God, and not only to save us, God, you will secure us, God, in you. I thank you, Lord God, yes, for continuing to hold us, God, God, in the palm of your hand, oh Lord God, that no one, God, can pluck us out. Thank you, Lord God, for saving us by your precious grace, oh God. Yes, Lord God. And Lord God, even for healing us now in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord God, for letting the enemy know, my God, that we belong to you, oh God. And we have your presence and we have your power, Lord God. Yes, God. We have you, God, that you will take care of all of our needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, that you have everything, God, that we need. And, and Lord God, because of that, we don't have to walk in anxiety and we don't have to walk in depression and we don't have to walk in oppression, oh God. And Lord, we can walk around every day knowing, God, that even though today may not have been the best day, even though yesterday may not have been the best day, we know that tomorrow, God, we get another opportunity, God, because you're giving us something fresh tomorrow. Your fresh grace and your fresh faithfulness, oh God. You're giving us something tomorrow, God, that is fresh. Your fresh gifts, oh God. We thanking you, God, that tomorrow, God, is another day because trouble, my God, don't last always. We thank you, Lord God, for your power and your presence, God, in the places that we are in. And Lord God, we shall leave these places, God, praising you. Lord God, because as the Bible says, I will bless the Lord at all times. My God, confusion, God, shall not be a part of me. God, complaining shall not be a part of me, oh God. I thank you, Lord God, that even negativity shall not be a part of me, oh God. I bless you, Lord God, yes, for what it is that you're doing in the lives of the people and how, God, you're using them, God, to spread the word of Jesus abroad and around. My God, I thank you, my God, for what you're doing today, and I bless you for all of it. In Jesus' Jesus' mighty name, we do pray. Oh, amen. And bless the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, oh God, for these brand new mercies today. I love you all so much with the love of Jesus. You have a wonderful day. You go in peace.